Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. Again! I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh, we're down here in an abandoned mine. Last time I used that platform there to get up here. It felt really, really safe. <laughs> Thought I'd start this one off by, uh, letting you guys know what Remedy are up to these days in the, you know, the present, the good old... 2022. Um, let's see. Alan Wake 2 is on schedule for next year. Knock on wood. And, uh, but apparently it's one of five projects they're currently working on. They're, uh, also doing, uh, HD remasters of Max Payne 1 and 2. Uh, I guess that qualifies as one. Uh, there's that spin-off of Control I mentioned back when I was playing that game. Still just codename Condor. But, uh... You know, I suppose that's, uh, just in the proof-of-concept stage, as they, uh, say. That was the one that sounds an awful lot like a cooperative shooter based in the Control universe. Seems like it'll be one of their, uh, Ranger teams. But they are also working on uh, another control project, which, since that series, has received the uh, the working title Heron, or at least you know the code name. And uh, Heron is uh, said to be uh, a bigger budget control game than Condor. So I'm thinking that one is you know the proper Control Two. And the, uh, the fifth project they're doing. Uh, I was surprised to hear this one. I haven't actually looked much into this yet, but, you know, I'm just going to read this out word for word. The fifth new game in development at Remedy right now is a free-to-play co-op multiplayer game called Vanguard that the team is making in partnership with Tencent. Uh, Remedy said Vanguard is staying in the proof-of-concept phase, and as such, the size of the development team isn't going to expand until 2023. So they've got a lot of prototypes kicking around, and that's very interesting to me. It's not going to help Alan, though, so let's get the hell out of here. Oh, that was more immediate than I expected. Thought I went down way further than that before I started going back up. Ah, oh, good. I'm sure that was a physics item, but I really enjoyed the timing on that. Ah, the sky. I never thought I'd miss you. Wait. If I'm not supposed to go up, then what is up? Obvious joke aside. I wonder what that noise means. Like, I don't know what flares sound like. Huh, there's actually no way to access the interior of this structure. That's very strange. I mean, I was under the impression people didn't make buildings. Oh, well, here we go. Unless they, uh, had a way to go inside. Uh, hmm. Still can't go inside, but at least there's a page up here. Whoa. It's a mountain up there. <laughs> I really like that I could still move in there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Might make a good uh, thumbnail. Although I have a feeling the fog will make that uh, too uh, blurry for a... Uh, you know, smaller image. Tor hits Nurse Sinclair. Lightning flashed behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Mulnir, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. 
We're on a comeback tour, baby. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking those nice old men from the diner might not have been so old and nice after all. Also, the uh, more traditional pronunciation is Mjolnir, but hey, I don't know if that's actually accurate or not. I say, well, I say traditional, the more uh, common pronunciation, I should say. It's Mjolnir in, uh, you know, the Marvel movies talking about Thor's hammer. Uh, the Master Chief's armor is called Mjolnir. In the, uh, the Halo franchise. Oh! You alright, Alan? Oh boy. That's a great sign, isn't it, when it just sags down like that and it's not quite broken yet? Yes, clearly that is an omen for double happiness. <laughs> Although double happiness just sounds like an item on a uh, poorly translated menu. Ah, there you guys are. Ugh! Burn! The other flock just flocked off. What is that? Oh, I thought there was like a ribbon of light right there. It's like, is there a lighthouse nearby? Like in the dream? You say maybe we should, you know, skip to the, uh... <laughs> oh, that'd be interesting. If you got your hands on the entire manuscript, you could just skip to the good part. No, no, the story still has to play out, and the good part can't happen unless the other parts have happened. Oh, man. Oh, every time I try to think about the concepts here, it does my head in. Which is probably intentional. You know, the scale of what we're talking about here. Like, the, the living concept of darkness. It's intentionally overwhelming, I think. Hell yeah. Leave no man behind! Oh, interesting. You can continue to hold on to it if you hold on to the, the button. I learned something from the manual, you guys! Oh. Wait, what am I actually doing this for? Oh, I see, because this doesn't actually go anywhere. Yes, sure. That would kill me. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, there's a gondola out there. Oh, hey. Ammo check. Oh, great. Another cable car. Just great. I mean, Alan's uh, attitude could really use some work, but again, I do not blame that. Yeah, that's one of the things I find interesting about Remedy. They're not, you know, afraid of making their protagonists, you know, really flawed. You know, Alan is an asshole. He, uh, he doesn't do well with people. And, you know, there's people who are just like that. You know, he's not a bad person. He just doesn't socialize well. It's not all that uncommon for writers. Actually, if anything comes after me up here, I'm going to need firepower. Because it's either going to be birds, which guns don't work on, or it's going to be something real bad, which I wouldn't even be able to imagine. Oh, fuck! Fresh one, awesome. I needed that.
Come on and get some! Oh, they just fucked off. Or they've disappeared because they're... Oh, hell! Uh-oh. Oh! oh. Okay, saw it that time. There's nothing down there. It really is just darkness doing that. Hey, how about this, you guys? Back off! I hate it when they lift up afterwards. That makes it seem real, real intentional. Oh, it's not blocking a path. I just can't go there. So I'm just thinking to myself exactly how much infrastructure the city of Bright Falls is going to have to replace. Oh! Word. Okay, that? Hmm, didn't love that. I don't even think I was startled, just- UGH! Just- That was- that's, That was just really intense, that was super loud! That kinda hurt my ears. But I didn't feel like my heart start racing or anything? That was weird. Is there a non-scary equivalent of a jump scare? See you in hell, cans. One of my favorite gags from the entire run of The Simpsons is the episode where Homer buys a gun, and he's just got Bart and Lisa throwing fine china like uh, uh, clay pigeons. You know, pull, and he throws them, and he shoots them. And uh, the, the bit where someone throws a plate and he misses, and he walks up to the plate on the ground. And it suddenly, out of nowhere, does this super dramatic action movie angle where the camera is down where the plate is, and it just shows Homer looking at it in perfect dis disgust, you know, uh, and uh, just says, See you in hell, dinner plate. Blam! And you see a bunch of shattered china just fly up past his face like a blood spurt. Just because it's only, like, two seconds long, and it comes out of nowhere, and it's <laughs> bizarrely dramatic. So, you know, I probably have done that more than once. See you in hell, inanimate object. Oh, nuts to this. Oh. Oh god, they're here. Nope! I heard that right behind me. He was close enough I could hear him slathering at me. Well, you don't like that at all, do you? Oh! Shit. I was looking at the wrong one. And fuck that guy in particular. Oh boy, we're still swimming around. Oh, I hate this. Oh, yes please. Ooh. Where in the fuck did you come from? Right, yeah, sorry, stupid question.
Back off! You are now wondering if he held still right there at the end because a part of him wanted to be shot and destroyed. Oh no. Stuck somewhere in an old, unstable mining complex, Wake must find the way out in order to reach the Mirror Peak lookout platform. Oh, bullets. Oh! Oh, that actually did startle me. I, I, I didn't hear the cre creepy music. And there's a, oh, there's just a guy on the far left of the fucking screen. He's just looking at me. Oh, my organs. There you are. Uh-oh. Right in the spine! Okay, they are not stopping. We need to go. I had a hunch. Nope, fuck you guys. Did I reload that? I did. Nope! No! My flesh! Oh man. Yeah, this is not ideal. Okay, at least I know exactly where the thing is and that there aren't any pages along the way. To the shack! Do it for Alice. Just run! Oh wow, it's right here, nice. Oh, this one will be interesting. Wow, I can almost read, I can actually read that one in these graphics, that's neat. Cauldron Lake, the eighth deepest lake in the world. Oh boy. Cauldron Lake is a caldera lake formed in a volcanic crater. The volcano itself could be considered to be active, but it has not erupted since the volcanic earthquakes of 1970. And even then, the underground activity was comparatively mild. Despite some property damage, there were no casualties. Cauldron Lake is one of the most beautiful spots in the Bright Falls area, as well as a central figure in many local folk tales. It's a popular recreational area for the area residents. Huh. It does have all those words on it. Neat. But... This isn't a view overlooking Cauldron Lake. 
That's like a river down there. This should be, uh... Actually, this should be over where that collapsed bridge to Diver's Isle is. Just slap that on the edge where they put that railing. I think they had a railing at the end. Did I imagine that? Let me just climb on top of the bed I was just on. By the way, I realized that it... Might have looked real bad when I, uh... Said, uh, the animation was funny when I was climbing up the, the, the side of a very steep mountain in another video, but, uh... It was just Alan's regular walking animation, except he's just sliding up the side of a mountain and kicking his feet into it. Yeah, I didn't mean there was, like, some funny, uh, climbing animation that I intentionally didn't show you. Just so's were clear. But, uh... Before I cross this bridge, we should call it an episode. Boy, that sure looks fucking ominous, doesn't it? Which is weird, because that's where the light is. Kind of. Oh, that's what it. That's what it is. It reminds me of the uh, the fog and the light. Reminds me of the cover of uh, The Exorcist. Ah, well. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Alan Wake again, when we, uh... Well, cross this bridge and, uh, get closer to Mirror Peak, I suppose. Till then, stay in the light.